Well, airline furloughs are taking off as the federal aid keeping many airlines afloat expires today. Both American and United say they have had to let go of thousands of workers. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni joins us now with the details on those layoffs. Well, Kim, after Congress failed to strike a new deal for additional aid, United and American Airlines say they have to furlough 32,000 workers. Although how many furloughed Rhode Island employees with United Airlines is still unclear, American Airlines tells me the impact to their local workers is minimal. Federal aid through the CARES Act helped keep airlines operational during the pandemic. But now that the funding expired at midnight Wednesday, United and American Airlines say they were forced to make cuts. A spokesperson for American Airlines says 14 Rhode Island workers at TF Green Airport were furloughed. That does not include American Airlines regional carriers. Last week, airline executives made this plea to Congress asking them to extend the CARES Act funding. We want people to understand the degree and amount of human suffering and emotional car or, uh, economic carnage that's going to occur. That carnage is now furloughs. 13,000 United Airlines employees and 19,000 with American Airlines. Of those furloughs, 3,000 American Airlines employees in the Northeast are impacted, according to their spokesperson, mostly at the Philadelphia and New York Airline hubs. Although Rhode Island's numbers are much smaller, it's still raising red flags. In a statement, Congressman Jim Langevin said, I'm incredibly concerned about the loss of jobs and the disruption to services that could result if we do not support the airline industry during this record downturn in travel. I support the updated HEROES Act we expect to consider in the House this afternoon that would extend the payroll support program to keep airline industry workers on the job. Now, if Congress can make a deal to provide more funding in the next few days, United and American Airlines says they can reverse the furloughs. I reached out to United Airlines for comment, but did not hear back. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.